Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Spill Pichinia, your girl from YY Magazine. And I'm not alone. Remember, we're still here at Hill on Empire in Park Town. And with the amazing, gorgeous um, Miss Awaita 2023 Top 20 finalist. And right now, I'm with the amazing and the beautiful bubbly offense. <laughs> Pito. Oh, Pito, how are you, OC? I'm good. How are you? You look so good. I'm very well. I like your smile. <laughs> Thank you. She's really? so gorgeous. What? Yes. <laughs> Do That's one of my insecurities. No, you've got a beautiful smile, honestly. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you should embrace it. <laughs> thank you. So tell me, um, who is Offense and where is she from? Um, what are you studying and what do you advocate for? Okay, I am from Midlands Zone 2. <laughs> I just graduated. I'm the first one to graduate at home. I just got my diploma in public relations, so it was a big achievement. Yeah. And what do I do? I I am a secretary for Mavlodi Sundowns. I am very passionate about football. I am a co-founder for uh, B Sports Agency, the sports agency representing female athletes because there is a gap between male and female athletes. So we're trying to break that gap. And then for fun, I'm just me, just enjoying myself and just watching football. So tell me, um, what does it mean to be, um, what would it mean to be Missoweta to you? Okay, being Miss Soweto would mean a lot. Um, when I was 21, I started my non-profit organization. It's a girl empowerment non-profit organization. So the reason I started that was because I was suffering from depression. I had tried to commit suicide, but I survived. So for me, it was second opportunity for me in life. And I felt that it is time for me to do something that can be able to improve and develop young women. So what I do is that I empower young girls through my life stories and I believe that being Miss Soweto will give me an opportunity to be able to share my life story and be able to help young girls to be the great leaders that they really aspire to be. Oh wow, this is amazing. So tell me, I heard you talking about your own organization. Please take us through that. Please tell me more about your organization. Okay, my non-profit organization is a girl empowerment NPO. We work closely with Otandwini Children's Home and also La Vela Secondary. Um, the reason why we work with Lavella is because it's close to Aurora Girls School. So you can imagine that there's limited girls in that school, so there's no hope for them. So we're trying to improve that. We're also trying to end the period poverty. So, and I'm also trying to introduce the health side of the period poverty because I feel that if you go to schools, most of the girls' schools, you would find that the toilets are not clean. So I feel that um, that needs needs to be more introduced to teach young girls about more menstrual hygiene. Yeah. Oh, Batung, that is uh, a lot to take in right now and I'm learning a lot from each and every one of you that comes and sit in, 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 sit in, in this chair. So, um, how can we vote for you? Okay, you can vote for me by using my code. My code is MS15. So please do the most. The crown needs to come to Ndofaya. <laughs> it has to. It has to. Definitely. So please. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you so much. Um, and I believe that you will bring back the crown. Go 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 Midlands. Yeah. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. There you have it. Um, from me, Petunia and Yena um, Offense. We are out. Thank you. Thank you.